with the help of the cat. So cat's out of the room, and uh, yeah, I'm back. So yeah, uh, the guy put like start up where I left off here. Just flip this conversation back around. Um, yeah, it sold sold him a um, Z, 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 Zora um, Shiny Fates card. Um, and I thought I took it out of the binder. You guys all know I have a binder. I thought I took it out of the binder. I set it on my shelf for eBay sales and trades on Instagram. As you guys know that I'm doing trades and stuff on Instagram through Facebook. And I thought I put the card out there. So now, today, I just did a $600 deal with selling Hidden Fates cards. All right? And the Ziora card... I know I had three copies, being if I didn't take it out of the binder, it might have got sold, and now I can't do anything about getting the card back until tomorrow. Um, so I was telling this guy this about the card, and try to offer him some other cards. Said, Are there any other cards you can you, you you're looking for for Hidden Fates to try to compensate that Ziora card? Maybe I can give him two cards for the one to close the deal and still sell the other video game. But when he shot me back this thing here, um, let me just put where... Just trying to see where. Um... All right. So I invited him to come to the stream at nine o'clock, and he says I won't be able to catch it. I'm afraid. And then he says I've got dinner like in five minutes, and then I put your loss later. That's what I put. That was my response. I said your loss on it later. You know, saying goodbye to the conversation on this. So he said, you're not, then his text back, he says, you're not exactly the most pleasant person to talk with. I'll admit, I'm sorry I can't make it to the stream. He's like, I was pissed off that you didn't make it to the stream. I'm not pissed off that you couldn't make it to the stream. I'm just saying later, like, you're lost because of the chat is what I'm talking about. Is because on the chat, we have so many great conversations of what I bring to the table uh, as far as what we talk about from retail arbitrage, sales and fines and pickups is what I'm referring to. As a talk, and this is the talk that I'm talking about on the loss. That's his loss. You know, if you don't want to come to the stream or whatever, that's his loss. That's what I'm referring it to. And that's what I put on here that that's, you know, what are you talking about? This is my response back as most unpleasant. I have not done anything but respond to you about the trade uh, for the card. And, you know, being up front, just telling you about the deal. And I said, you know, right now, I don't feel un I, I, I don't feel comfortable with going on with the transaction. He, he makes, he's making me feel like I just want to cancel out, give him his $8 or whatever back for the card and just be done with it because, you know, this is crazy. And then his response from that, um, after I put I said, I just want to get this done and, you know, I want to close the deal and just give him his money back. That's what I'm saying. So he says, his response to that back, it says, you sold the card, bought it, and kept referring to the wrong card. Now, when he says the wrong card, is I had sold a Volpex, a Nolan Volpex, and I did text him back tonight selling my Volan Volpex, because I sold the card, and I'm mistaken that one in this conversation, so I bought a Volpex, and then I saw the picture from the Ziara that I already knew. So I said, well, let me look and see where the card, and like I said, the card's probably sold. I probably sold the card. So he's um, saying, referring to the wrong card, and you're distracted from the sale multiple times to push your live stream. Like, I don't do live streams here. I told him that. Just, <laughs> it's crazy. And then he says, when I'm pushing it around like your loss, nor very unemployed, you know, it's just crazy. So, dude, you, you can do whatever you're gonna do, Zooey.
like I said, I'm going to refund your PayPal, the card, Ziora. Like I said, I'm going to just close the deal on that. Refund your PayPal. We're done. Block you from my Facebook. And I just got to, you know, just dealing on Facebook, you know, because we're getting, I'm getting ready to go into trades and stuff. And, you know, we're doing trades and it's just not how I operate. I'm human. I'm human. I got multiple things going on in my life. You know, outside of YouTube, you know, I got a family I got to tend to. I got a life I have to live outside of the channel, you know. Um, and when I do these trades here, uh, some some people, you know, think like the person behind, hide, behind the glass is going to scam them or rip them off or something. And quite frankly, if that was the truth, then my ratings on Facebook would say that. You know, the ratings are on there. I'm trying to build a reputation on social media platform as well because I think it would help me carry out what I'm ultimately trying to do here with breaks to have you guys feel comfortable without having to look at eBay and say, I don't know, there's a lot of scammers on eBay. That's why I showed you my eBay thing, trying to build up the channel for the breaks because it was a long-term thing on the whole eternal plan for this channel with everything that I was doing is I'm trying to wean people into what I do and how I do it so you'll be comfortable buying from me. Some people, like I said, you get some weird people on Facebook Marketplace and all they know is scammers and con artists and everything else. They're out there, yes. I'm not one of them. I have a reputation on eBay. I got a reputation now on Facebook. I got a reputation on Instagram. And it would say, it would say already with conduct and, 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 and things that I already, it would be on Instagram. It would be all over Facebook. It would be on my Facebook profile of ratings, what people put down that what's going on. So, like I said, if if I feel uncomfortable because of the way you are coming back at me, then then all deals are off. I'm just throwing the cards on the table, I'm folding it up, and I'm done with you. That's it. That's the way I work because you're not going to make me feel that way like I'm a bad guy. All right, I'm, I'm human, guys. I'm human just like everybody else. And if you're perfect, well, i got to call you Jesus then because only God is perfect. No human on earth is perfect. You can act like you're perfect, but you're not perfect. We all make mistakes. And some people, like this guy, maybe he's perfect. Maybe he's the Lord in disguise. I don't know. But he set me off on the wrong track. And, uh, you know, you do that, all bets off. I'm just, I'm, I'm throwing you under the table. I'm done with you all together. So that's how it goes on this. It's straight out, man. It's straight out. I try to be upfront when I do trades on Facebook and when I'm dealing with eBay and everything that I do. And like I said, if you guys feel like I'm a scammer or something, don't watch my channel. Do not watch my channel. Unsubscribe. I don't care. Unsubscribe if that's the way you feel. All right? I got other things that I'm doing, all right, in my life. And I'm living the dream. And I'm not going to let nobody hold me back from, from living my dream, all right? And if I got to deal with people like this, well, I'd rather deal with nobody. I'd rather just go back and do what I've been doing on eBay long before I came to YouTube and just deal on that before I came to social media because I could just give it all up, throw it all on the table, and go right back to eBay and forget YouTube, forget social medias. I don't need it. I don't need it. I was doing fine without it, but people rub me the wrong way, man, and just get me off on the wrong mood. And I just want to bring that to the table is not how I wanted to come to YouTube tonight because I try to come energetic and on the right mind frame, but people just set me off in, in a wrong mind frame. Just just people in general. It's just, you know, this whole world is just in a is it, is not the same. It's not it is not the same as what it was when Obama was in it. It's totally upside down. And people are 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 getting rubbed the wrong way, people getting pushed and shoved and getting different intentions and everything and, and people's minds aren't in the right frame some people's minds and it's just crazy it's just crazy that some of the things you got to deal with on social media and i'm not saying it to deter anybody from trying to do social medias or try to you know do ebay and stuff like that it's just stuff that you guys are gonna have to put up with you're gonna have to put up with and you know if you're not willing to put up with it then you just need to just deal with something else because this is stuff that comes at you. People, you know, going to say whatever. And, you know, it, it, it all comes down when you even do your YouTube channel. You're going to have to put up with everything. And it's just crazy that, you know, um, 
the craziness that you got to deal with even in, in these days. But I'm going to move on from this, guys, because I'm done with that. You know, I'm going to take care of this, refund this guy, his uh, PayPal, close it out. I didn't even mark it as paid yet because we had another pending trade for the game. I'm just not even selling him the game. I'm not shipping out anything. The card, well, I'm not even going to worry about the card. I'm just going to give his money back and, and be done and block him on Facebook because I don't want to be dealing with this looks like trouble. It looks like just some trouble. Trouble down the way is it, it, it looks like trouble that may happen down the road with this dealing with this guy in this kind of like selling to him. So I'd just rather cut him off and refund him and be done. All right. So guys, I just want to start off the video, guys. Let's get back to the video for what we can because it's all, it's going to be a long video tonight. What's up, Benef Productions? Like I said, I'm already like you know, pissed off because of this thing, guys. It just got me, it just rubbed me the wrong way. But anyway, I got these Hidden Fates. I sold a ton of Hidden Fates, guys. All I have is Baby Shinies. Um, a lot of Baby Shinies left. There was like a big $600 deal that I sold off a bunch, a bunch of Hidden Fates. All I got is Baby Shinies. So if you guys need Baby Shinies, there's no Charmanders, there's no... Uh, Charmeleons, um, there's no Eevees, uh, except for, I think I'm keeping one or two of them that might be back, no, I didn't keep any, I got cards that I am keeping, um, the Jesse and James Full Arts are gone, I have Giovanni's Exile Full Art, and then, these are the cards that I'm keeping, these are the only five cards I'm keeping, I'm keeping a Jesse and James Full Art right there, I'm keeping a, uh, the Birds Full Art, um, and a hyper rare of the birds, and a hiker, and an aether paradise. That's what I'm keeping out of the hidden face. All the rest of this stuff's gone. All right. Anybody who wants to trade for that stuff or you want to buy, hit me up Instagram. Right. That's the only hidden fate. The only loose hidden fate cards as far as that that I have. I've been doing a lot of sales off camera, guys. It's just. That's why I'm so late when I'm doing videos now because I'm, I do a lot of running around. I just got in here about uh, about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, something like that. Sat down at 8, tried to relax, and was dealing with him on the phone, texting back and forth, and trying to get stuff set up in here while dealing with him on the phone. Um, it, it was just crazy. It was crazy. So let's get on to the rest of the stuff. Um, going back in, um, I had a guy that I was going to be trading for Super Nintendo with some games, I ain't heard back from him in about a month. So uh, I was trading a super trading for a Super Nintendo. He wanted all of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Toon Chaos. It's about fourteen dollars a pack. I have about fourteen packs, I believe, of these. So these are up for um, these are up for. Uh, I prefer the trade versus selling. But if you guys are interested in Toon Chaos first editions. I got about 14 loose packs. Um, I'm looking for sealed Pokemon product, sports cards. If you got some full art stuff, surely we can work out a trade for that. But this was not a pickup. I just wanted to put this on so you guys who may be interested in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, um, you can hit me up on Instagram, work out something with me, like Earl's Pokestop, and a couple of like Zelavir, and people have been hitting me up to uh, work out deals. All right. Um, just want to show you guys some stuff that I do have on the table. Um, got a nice 3DS. This was a uh, Beacon Flea Market pickup. I traded two uh, Nest decks with a um, with one remote, an AV cord, and um, a, a light gun. Um, they were untested systems. They had no power cord. I traded those away for this. 3DS, um, the old style one, um, doesn't have the original pen, but it has an SD card installed and it has a carrying case, which has, um, two pens, two stylus here and the charger works. You guys can see the screen. If you're interested in that, um, I do have games for this as well. Um, so that is, uh, you know, this is on the chopping block. If you guys are interested in trying to work a deal for this if you guys want to trade for it or something definitely hit me up on Facebook uh, or on Instagram because there are photos up there so I'm just trying to 
show photos. Um, I did unpack the Blastoids that I picked up. So now I have the Blastoids loose figure and the Charizard. And he does shoot cannons. You pop his tail and he shoots these cannons out, the water cannons. So I did unbox that off camera, got him ready, and Ambrose was all over it. Um, I did pick up a little char a little uh, Pikachu uh, figure at a yard sale. Uh, I'm not sure if I shot this photo on Instagram, but I've been sharing a lot of photos on Instagram. So um, check it out on Instagram if, if it's there. I don't think it is. Um, uh, you've seen this on Instagram, the Spider-Man head from Walmart. Pick this up. This is a Marvel. This is a Marvel brand Spider-Man nice head bank. So um, going to be displaying that in the new studio. Um, nice, nice head bank. So pick that up. It was nine and ninety-eight at Walmart. So I picked that up. Still got the select football pack, uh, cello pack, fat pack, fifteen cards. Um, still got that up. It's on Facebook Marketplace for trade for Pokemon product. Um, see where I want to start. Um, this here was, we'll start on this. This was this bag. I forgot to show you guys the contents inside was from last Sunday's uh, video. I, I still had the stuff in the bag, but I closed it out with showing you some stuff that might have been in the bag. But wasn't all of it. And this is the remainder of what was in the bag. i um, going to show you guys some pickups, video games that I did pick up from uh, Upstate Flea Market. Uh, that will finish off from last Sunday, so we're going to go on with that. I didn't go this Sunday, but I got this Wii Monopoly collection. It's a two-game Monopoly game, uh, Wii game, with two Monopolies uh, built in. Um, Monopoly and Monopoly Streets. So two games built in one. I don't think it, it, it is box complete. So it is box complete. So I do have that. Um, I got Call of Duty's Black Ops, Black Ops 2 for the th for the PS3 and for the 360. Now I got these for about a buck each, and these been trading in at GameStop for about eight dollars. So I've been trading these into GameStop, getting store credit on. The uh, GameStop gift card, so got credit that I've been building over there with uh, GameStop bringing the games in. You can only bring one of the one from PlayStation 3, one from Xbox 360, but you can, you know, a one of each game. You can't bring two of the same games for the 360 over there. So you get good store credit for uh, Black Ops 2, um, about eight or nine dollars each. So good store credit for a game I paid a dollar for. Runs for about $13 on eBay, but still good store, good trading credit. Um, so I picked these up for a for a buck. Um, one is box with the manual like that, and I think the other one might the other one is just disc only. And then the PlayStation 3 version is the complete. All right. So that was a pickup um, for a buck each. So that was three dollars in. And I got $24 in a value right there with like trading to GameStop, and they go for about $13 on eBay selling. Um, and I paid a dollar for the Monop Monopoly with Monopoly Streets for the Wii. All right, so let's continue going on through the bag. The internet was went down, guys, so we're just going off loose. Um, just want to say loose, like like <laughs> just starting back up and doing it. So picked up this Ace Combat. For the PlayStation 1, um, box complete, jewel case, really nice, super clean. So that was a buck. Picked up a lot of these games for a dollar. Uh, Pocket Bike Racers, this was a Burger King game. For the Xbox 360, um, box with the manual and other facets that come in it. Uh, we got Skylanders Giants, just a game, no Skylanders. With the disc, we got uh, Halo 3. Just moving it up close because these LED lights in the back are just crazy. Box complete. Uh, Guitar Hero 2. No guitars, just the game. This is like a buck. Just trying to stack them up. Modern Warfare 3 for the PlayStation 3. 
Box complete. Like I said, if you guys are interested in anything you see here that I'm showing up, definitely hit me up on Facebook Marketplace or DM me uh, right on Instagram. Let me know because I like to post trades and stuff from the channel on Instagram so you can, you know, everybody on the social medias can see what's going on over here on the channel with the, the trades and stuff that I'm doing. Um, got a Saw 2 uh, movie, widescreen. I think I paid 50 cents for this movie. All right. I like watching the old scaries. And then the best of all, guys, for 10 bucks, I got this Pokemon Omega Red 3DS game. So Pokemon Omega Red for the 3DS box complete. There's the disc, right? There's the uh, cartridge. Box complete. This is about a 20 to 25 dollar, maybe 30. Pokemon games have gone up like in crazy amounts of value. Um, not exactly sure what the full like market value for this game. You can always check eBay under completed sold for Pokemon 3DS Omega Red, but this was by far a great deal for 10 bucks. Got the Omega Red. All right, so. Those are the games. I believe that is not. And lastly, for a buck, I got a VHS DVD, uh, VHS tape, not a DVD. Um, Pokemon Mewtwo vs. Mew VHS. So, uh, Pokemon first movie. Yeah, and it's, you know, nice shape VHS. All right, so that is it on that end. Uh, that is a bag that was from last Sunday's, not this previous Sunday, because um, I didn't go this Sunday. Uh, I went last Sunday. This was the remainder of that um, yard, uh, flea market that I went to. All right, so Saturday, I mean uh, Sunday, um, I hit up the Beacon Flea Market and uh, got this deal here, which... Uh, which is a video game that I got yesterday, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. He has five on it, and he gave me a deal at three, so I paid three dollars for this. Marvel vs. Uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, three bucks, not a bad deal. I don't know what the eBay price, um, like if I was selling eBay, but I picked up um, an Xbox Connect. Chase after the right price, Phoenix resells and stuff. They go after these guys. These are like, these are really uh, spiked on Amazon, so you can sell the Xbox uh, camera, Xbox 360 camera on Amazon for you know under pre-owned or whatever, and you get pretty decent money. But I got this camera for the Xbox 360 with the power cord. Um, it is missing the uh, other power piece. But I do have two working units that I can just take off the strip and, uh, you know, check this system out. So it is, here is an Xbox 360 um, black. Um, it does have the hard drive, which I'm trying to figure out where it is. Just a little dusty here on the side. You can see some dust right there clean on the front. I haven't tested it yet, but I will be getting into testing it. It came with a 250 gig hard drive. You can see that right there. I'm going to test out everything, make sure this baby is working, clean off all the dust. Paid $15 for this, guys. The unit itself with the camera and the one power cord, no AVs, but uh, I can surely make it complete and I'll be testing to make sure it works. I test all my systems to make sure they're working prior to even selling so um, if you want to inquire about this um, I do have working ones already so that was a pickup for $15 um, let's go into a uh, Kirkwin's pickup today um, Kirkwin's game store I went up there today um, and uh, ETBs for Shining Fates they had about Last Sunday, there was about maybe 15. Now they're down to their last remaining three ETBs. Not that they, they dropped the price down. The, the box, the, the ETB box that they're still charging is 119 But they had a hell of a gold mine of booster boxes. And uh, if you guys want to take a guess at what booster boxes I saw, give you a hint. 
Holy cow! They had about 15, maybe 20 booster box cases of battle styles and only had one box of vivid voltage that they wouldn't sell you as a booster box. But the booster boxes for battle styles at Kirkwinds, they're selling them for $119, which is about $10 above what other MSR or what other LGS stores are selling for about $100, $110, according to Card uh, Cardinal Gaming, which you know I got the information from that there should be running about 100, 100 to 110. Um, and well, Kirkwinds is a $119. And they got a whopper load of Battle Styles, guys. I think Battle Styles, guys, is going to be a set that is going to be printed like crazy. Um, so they got a lot of Battle Styles in, and people are not buying them. I've been to multiple stores, multiple Walmarts. Battle Styles sleeves are still on the shelves at Walmarts. They're still on the shelves. Like, people are not even buying them. I have seen Vivid Voltage sleeves on the shelves at Walmarts. Check out my Instagram down below. I post photos of me live in a Walmart shooting you a photo of what I see in the open market dated as of today. And over the weekend, I believe I shot photos of Walmarts um, with product on the shelves, guys. Even not... Uh, Seven o'clock in the in the uh, evening, product still on the shelf. So um, be very careful at what you're trying to invest in. Scalpers are are, are looking like they're uh, dispersing. <laughs> it looks like the scalpers are dispersing. Yeah, it looks like the scalpers are dispersing, guys, and it looks like there is a big slowdown on sales of Pokemon cards, especially battle styles. All right. But here's the pickup from Kirkwinds. I went in, spent three bucks, and I got these two shiny, uh, these two Eevees, three dollars each. So pick these up. These you can only get in a shiny fate ETB. So I picked these two bad boys up to go into my full arts. Um, they may be packed into my repacks for booster pack repack selling for premium sales. Um, yeah, so. You may find one of these in one of those custom packs that you buy if any of you guys buy anything when I start doing the uh, breaks. Um, so that was a pickup from Kirkwinds. I do got some packs that I'm going to open today. Some dollar packs, a couple battle styles. Um, that way I picked up a few of those. Um, let's get into a pickup from GameStop. I picked up uh, a battle styles elite trainer box because I at least like to have at least one elite trainer box, at least to have the book for what's involved in battle style. So I did pick up one battle style. They had multiple, but I did not want all that battle styles, at least not yet. I think it's going to be an overproduced set. And really, I'm not really feeling battle styles. So I'm not really jumping all over this stuff, guys. Not really jumping all over battle styles. So I did pick this up at MSR, $39.99 at GameStop, guys. So this was a GameStop pickup for $39.99. So let me just stick that on the floor. Um, had another trade. Um, if you're watching me on Instagram, you already know because I shot you the photos on Instagram. So guys, check it out. Got some nice N64 games. Uh, Traded these, I'll tell you what I traded for in just a minute, but you would already know if you're following me on Instagram and watching uh, the photos and reading, you would already know what I traded for. Uh, traded these out and, and, you know, and what game I traded out, and I got these in return. So I got Super Mario 64 in its own, like, custom box holder. Uh, kind of something like you would get from Blockbuster, like when you were going to rent it. Um, but yeah, and it's got this nice little holder for the games, and these are all originals, no uh, knockoffs or reproductions, guys. So these are really nice shape, really nice Super Mario 64. It's going to be an obverse for you guys, but yeah, got that. So that was one game I traded. Got another game, let's just show you all of them. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing, boom, right there. And uh, there's the cartridge. There's the back. 
All right, so Diddy Kong Racing was another cart that I got in this trade. Um, these look nice on the shelf. Super Smash Brothers for the N64. So there's a nice clean cartridge, N64 cartridge. If you guys don't know, I'm a retro video game collector and gamer. Um, so I collect video games. I also buy, sell, and trade video games via eBay and Amazon FBA. So like I said, if you're into video games, I got a whole dozer of games right here. A whole dozer. And you can probably see Pokemon up in there too. We'll just spin the camera. You might be able to see some Pokemon stuff up in there too. You can see these bins with Pokemon stuff. Yeah, these are old bins that I'm filling and some old uh, books. And there's games and all of this stuff here, guys. I got a whole bunch of... I'm just trying to tip the camera so you guys can see the bins that I'm talking about on the floor here. Oh, tons. Tons. And there's some stuff on the thing for the video for today. So let's get back into that without me bumping the camera all over the place. So the next game up, Pokemon Snap was the next game that I got in its own custom case. And there is the game right there. I, I can tell you that I traded these four games. They will look nice in the new studio once I get it all completed to nice set these up in there. Um, even if they don't have the game in them, I can just put the cartridge in the bins and put these boxes out like this. But nice display cases. I traded away um, Pokemon Crystal Version Game Boy Advance Color cartridge for these four games, guys. So that was for Pokemon Snap with its own custom box, Super Smash Brothers, Diddy Kong Racing, and Super Mario 64. So in total value, if you think this was a bad deal, total value for this is about 120. The cartridge was about $100. So not a bad deal. Uh, it was a little come up on that on my end. Um, I got those four games. So I don't own them. So those are nice cartridges that, you know, I'm not really attached to. Things that I'm really not attached to, I and most likely will trade away. Stuff that I am attached to, it's going to be very hard to get out of my hands because um, if you look at Charizard and stuff like that, yeah, it's going to be really difficult because um, I just hold on to Charizard. <laughs> All right, so next thing up, guys, is a Best Buy pickup from today. Um, being a new Nintendo Switch owner, I am still accumulating games and games that I haven't even played or even cracked. There's a lot of games that I haven't even cracked open. Um, found this game at Best Buy called War Groove. Picked this up at Best Buy. Um, it was $14.99 or something like that. I got the receipt here, so I'll share that with you. $16.99. And then uh, I was thinking about Ambrose. Uh, found uh, I found this game here, a uh, value buy. Uh, new Super Lucky Tales. This is like a bite knockoff of the Super Nintendo uh, game that came out with the same fox looking guy. So I picked this game up, figured Ambrose might want to give it a whirl. Um, and the receipt here, dated for the Best Buy. Um, you can see it right on the receipt if you guys want to pause it out to see exactly timestamp from Best Buy. Best Buy receipt with all the little logos of Best Buy. So that was a Best Buy pickup. All right, um, next one is a Goodwill pickup. And that was from today. Goodwill pickup from today. Um, went over Goodwill. I try to keep my card active with Goodwill because um, you do earn points that you can, uh, each point adds up to be, uh, get you dollars off your total purchase so you can save up. It doesn't expire and you can get money off your total purchase. So if, you, if I kept saving my points, I can build unlimited amount of credit that I can use to buy a big item in there and it would totally, totally give it to me for free because of the amount of points that I got that would I can redeem for free games, movies. So you definitely can do that with the, um, I do have the card here, with the, um, the Goodwill card. 
So definitely get that card, guys. Get points um, where, you know, you can save up. So I was at a Goodwill over in uh, Wappinger Falls, New York, guys, and uh, picked up this game for the original Xbox called Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. So this was $4.99. It is box complete. The disc, oops, well, the disc just fell. Um, disc is in really pretty decent shape. Got some minor scratches, you know, but not bad. When I get that J, JFJ Easy Pro, uh, I can buff out anything on the scratch marks with uh, with that thing. It'll take it out and clean up the disc. But this has this manual. This is for the original Xbox. Not sure of the full value on this. I didn't look it up. But you can see the blue sticker uh, right up in here, $4.99. Um, Goodwill does code their games, um, red, blue, yellow, pink stickers, and they do have a color of the week. So any color that is on the board, uh, when you come in the store, if it's whatever color it is, and you buy anything in the store that has that color attached, you get like 40% off. So you can save some money buying on any particular week. Buy the color with Goodwill, and you earn points also with the card that you can buy DVDs. So I, I, my, my main focus is when I go into Goodwills, guys, is I focus on buying Disney DVDs and stuff like that because these tend to really sell like really good on eBay. And I'm not sure about Amazon, but I, I, I just know that the Disney movies are really good. So I try to get them with their cover. So we got Alice and Wonderland uh, DVD. Um, and I believe it has movie points or something, cards that you can get in here. Yeah. I think this does, yeah, no, this one doesn't have the uh, movie points. Usually you get movie points and stuff um, that you can uh, get cool stuff right there, as this thing says on the back, um, with the movie points. I'm not sure if they're still doing that with their normal DVDs, but I still I try to buy, find DVDs um, that Ambrose might not have watched, and uh, we watch them, and then I usually I flip them. But I got Mulan 2, Disney. And Disney's a good, you know, people know Disney. It's a, it's a name brand. And uh, they tend to sell very well on eBay um, in really good condition. Like I said, if you get discs that are scratched up, um, I would recommend you get the JFJ Easy Pro Auto Smart. It's a $4,500 machine. I mean, you can go on three, stage, uh, three stages of buffing out game discs. And unlike the traditionary... Uh, buffers that sc take scratches out that you can buy the handmade ones that you grind and put powder and solutions on. Uh, the the high-tech ones that are going to cost you some thousands, um, you know, they do the best job and the discs look like brand new and you can get the top dollar for your games as far as disc, um, especially with GameCube and Play PlayStation 2 games where they're scratched. Um, if you got those games uh, scratches buffed out, you can get, you know, get the games back like new in your collection or you'll get top dollar for them when you go to resell them because there's no scratches on them and they play fabulously. There's no marks or anything that you wouldn't even know that somebody used a JFJ Easy Pro on it. So I'm in the market to getting one of those here for the channel, but here to offer as a service to you guys that may have games that are scratched that you can send your games in and I can buff out the scratches for you for, for a small fee and the shipping would be on you guys of course but that's another service that I'm trying to add to the channel with my JFJ Easy Pro to buff out your game scratches any of you guys that are gamers that got scratches or you may be doing the same kind of hustle that I do trying to buy and sell flip video games and you got some games that are valuable but you won't get top dollar because they're all scratched up well you can look for people like me on YouTube to send your games in. You cover the shipping, pay a small fee for the service. I buff your games out, send them back with your return shipping that you pay for, and your games are now sellable and you get them in nice shape, even if they're going into your collection. So that's a service that I'm going to be offering when I get my JFJ Easy Pro uh, Auto Smart. Uh, I'm going to the top of the line. Because that's the way I roll on the channel. I believe in high tech. I don't believe in just going half crazy on just buying some mediocre machine. I'm going top notch and going to get the best that I can get. And I know I'm going to get my money's worth because of the amount of games and stuff that I go through 
um, yearly and monthly and buying over years since 1995 that, yeah, I'm going to be able to get top dollar for the games that I even, you know, have that are scratched. I'll be able to get good money for when I go to resell them. So there are games that I'm holding back because they are scratched and I know that they're not going to get me the top dollar. So I'm not going to try to even, uh, you know, put them out. So let's get into another pickup. Barnes and Nobles, guys. If you don't know, Barnes and Nobles are uh, selling cards, um, and they have been getting cards in, like, daily. I went back my first day, pick up right here, um, dated receipt. The receipts don't lie. Boom. If you want to stop and check out the receipt that was dated from yesterday, stopped at a Barnes and Nobles, and um, I picked up some sports cards. So I got Topps Series... One, 2021 baseball. Um, these contain, uh, look for relic and autograph, relic and autograph relic cards. So it's a big old fat pack. Look, you get a lot of cards. I'm not sure how many cards you get in this one. 40 cards in the pack. Um, they were $5.99. These are known as cellos or fat packs. You guys who collect Pokemon, uh, collect sports cards, open up. Pokemon card, I mean, open up baseball sports cards, you know. These are called Fat Packs or Cello Packs. Uh, baseball Series 1. Um, and I picked up two packs. That was the limit at Barnes & Noble. You could pick two. And uh, yesterday, that's what I got. Dated by the receipt, $5.99 a pack. And I picked up some sports cards. So now I have the Select Football Cello Pack and the uh, baseball sports card. So um, these are available for trade. Any of you guys that knock out and open up sports cards, boom. Now my second day at Barnes & Nobles, guys. Well, look what I got here from Barnes & Nobles. Today, this afternoon, they had Rapid Strike, Urshi Full Boxes, and the Single Strike. And again, the limit was two, and they weren't. They weren't overpriced. They were $19.99 each. And I picked up two. They had elite trainer boxes of both the rapid strike and the single strike, but I did not want the battle styles. And this packs, you contain you get two battle styles packs, but you also get a Darkness of Blaze and I think a Rebel Crash. Rebel Crash, Rebel Trash pack in there. So um, I picked up the two single strike. And they were $19.99 from our good friends at Barnes & Nobles on the second day. So today, after going on a Sunday, got Pokemon, I uh, got baseball cards, sports cards on Sunday, and woo, Pokemon on Monday. Couldn't believe it that they got a shipment of cards in on a Monday at Barnes & Nobles. So looks like uh, stores are getting some merchandise in. All right. So, uh, just not to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. All right, let's get into Walmart pickup number one. So, uh, my first Walmart um, pickup. Uh, let's get this game out of the way. Because it's going to take up. It's in the bag. And if you're watching on Instagram, you would already know what I'm referring to. Um, three receipts here. The first receipts... Let's see if I pull it out right. Well, we'll get it right because I'll pull out the receipt. There we go. First receipt, guys. I got two Nintendo Switch games. Wonderful 101s. Factory Seal 101s. Wonderful 101s. And you would not believe the price that I paid for these games. There's the dated receipt. If you guys want to stop... Pause it. I'll try to pull it in as best I can. Three cents each, guys, for these games. Nintendo Switch games at Walmart for three cents. Can you believe that? That's what I call working the hustle. Working the hustle. Put in the work, guys, and you will reap the rewards of your work. And that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Three cents each. Got two of those. That was all they had. Wonderful 101. Three cents at a local Walmart, guys. Now, I have heard some people talking about that Walmart's not selling them to you. 
um, and other people dealing with other circumstances at Walmart where they just don't sell you those games. I see many people on YouTube talk about it, but local Walmart sold them to me. They rang up at the register at self uh, at the checkout in electronics. The guy rang them up three cents, and I paid three cents each, six cents for the two of them. Bang! There's a, the living receipt. Living receipt right there live. Right there. Three cents, guys. Three cents each for those Nintendo Switch games. I wish they had more. I would have bought the house out of them. So, next pickup, guys, is some really unbelievable deals. We're talking about Walmart clearance, guys. These next three bags are nothing but Walmart clearance video games going on at my local Walmart, and I am going all the way to the bank with these, guys. It's just crazy. Um, Walmart every year uh, has clearance, and you need to be on top of this stuff, man. So let's get into uh, the first pickup, which I just want to make sure I got them all grouped together and don't have any other ones that I said, oh, there's those. All right, so we got that, that stack, and we got that. Boom. All right, so the first set of games is I got 3DS games, guys. Walmart clearance, Super Mario Land, uh, 3D Land, right? Super Mario, yeah, it's the greatest hits ones. These were 988 guys. If you didn't know, check out Instagram. I showed it on Instagram. 988 each, guys. Alright. And uh, these guys would command decent money on eBay if you want to flip. But sometimes it's better to hold. Hold your cards. Let everybody else sell theirs. And uh, long term, these things could be worth some money down the road if you send them out to CGC to get them graded. So Here's an a awesome title right here, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. So I have uh, five copies. I'm just going to show you right there. All five copies right there. You can stop, pause the video, you can see them. All five Zeldas, Mask of Majora, guys. So five of those at $9.88 each. Like I said, I went to multiple Walmarts. Next one up, guys, is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. There it is. There are the games. You can see them all. There are multiples because I had bought multiples in another video that are in already in the bin here. And there are six of these. Six of those right there. So I'm telling you, hit that Walmart clearance, guys. And uh, get some 988 3DS games because they are clearanced out. All right. And uh, there's the receipts. I spent, uh, what, $32 or something there. I'm trying to see the total. My eyes are bad. $40 I spent total on that one. And on this other receipt, $170. So there's the receipts. The receipts don't lie. I block out what Walmarts there are, but these are Walmarts that I deal with. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of money spent, but you know what? The turnover for the for the games and stuff is incredibly high. Games are spiked, and there's tons of profit to be made on the games, but still have one less last game left, and I still have two more bags for Walmart clearance. Got Mario Kart 7, guys, and this is not uh, like select version this is the uh, official like black label and I uh, have five copies of Mario Kart 7 all factory sealed all factory sealed 988 each these normally resell for like 29.99 and they're st in Walmart's to as, as low as 1999 for the Zeldas and as high as 29.99 these were going for for the uh, Mario Kart 7s but they're now 988 Check out all the Mario Kart 7s. All right, so we're just going to put those over yonder. And uh, trying to make room, guys. I am trying to make room. And uh, that was bag number one. I'm going to get to bag number two, guys. So let's get into it. Bag number two, right there, consists of games. 
total spent was a hundred and five a hundred and five dollars eighty one cents that was the total right there spent on some more Walmart clearance video games and we're gonna see what we got here in this one and that's why I'm stacking them up and back so you don't think no funny business is going I got all the games stacked we got some more we got well make sure I got them all out first right all right, so it looks like we got them all. All right, so I got some more Zeldas. Majora's, uh, Majora's Mask. Three more of the Majora's. $9.88 each, guys. Just going to stack those on top of the my Pokemon TCG sign. Got one Super Mario Brothers 2. $9.88, guys. That's the first one of that one. And three more copies of Super Mario Land. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's the select versions, but who cares? A game's a game. Mario is Mario, and Mario, Zelda, Bowser's, you know, hot games. Hot games. Everybody knows, knows them. They do come in premium prices, and they do sell very, very, you know, they do sell very, very well. So, awesome games to have in the collection. So the last set of games is four more copies of Mario Kart 7, guys. Four more copies of Mario Kart 7. So stack those up over here. Mario Kart 7. All right. That bag's down. I'm going to need the bag. So two bags down. We got one more bag left. And this is a Whopper, guys. In this bag, this is another Walmart. Um, I did go to the uh, self, not self checkout, but the service desk. They had vivid voltage at the service desk, guys. A limit of two booster packs per customer per day. I took my limit of two. They were four dollars eighteen cent. Dated receipt right there. If you want to pause the receipt, hopefully it's not too bright. Two packs of vivid voltage. So got those Pokemon stuff. Um, put that over to the side. All right, how many receipts we got here? All right, got one big, two big receipts, guys. One receipt at a value of money spent, $115.37, right there. And the other receipt, guys, is $249.97. So a lot of money spent. I spent a lot of money on video games, clearance, and you know what? You have to spend money to make money, and I don't mind spending money if I know I'm gonna make it. So definitely join myself today. Check out these hauls from Walmart. So let's get into it, guys. I got a ton, a ton of Mario Brothers 2. And I'm just trying to get them all together so you can see what's going on here I'm just trying to get them all together because there is a mother stack of them and so far that's uh, the stack so far but I don't think that's it let me get the rest of what is involved in today's haul so let me get that there's another stack of them right there another stack at the bottom of the bag Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. And then I'm going to let you know in on something too. So, save the best for last, right? Alright, so, boom. Look at all of those Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 2, guys. So, there's a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 copies on top of the one. So, 18 copies of these all together, guys. 18 copies of Super Mario Brothers 2 for the 3DS. And I'm just putting them back. I'm just leaving them. So, like I said, I don't want you guys to think there's any funny business. You can see all the games and everything. Right here, 
It's all stacked up on the table here. Um, got some more Majora's Mask. 3D World, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of those. Majora's Mask, stack those right there. All right, and then we have Mario Kart, seven, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 more copies of that. Let's just stack that right there. And we got the 3D Mario 3D World. And I had previously got like 10 of these from Target. If you've been watching the Instagram, you would know that I had got those right around, uh, right after Christmas for 10 bucks. I had got these Super Mario Brothers from Target. I got a stack of these on a 3DS. So there's our stack of uh, Super Mario World. So you can see all the 3DS games. And I will pull the camera up so you guys can see it even closer and you see a stack. The last game... Super Smash Brothers, guys, 3D, three copies of those. So, um, those of you guys that want to take a zoom in look, I'll move the camera up so you can see all the games up front. Look at all of those 3DS games, guys. Ton of money spent, ton of money to be made, and uh, that's how we do it, guys. Shopping smart, making those, those uh, games work for you because they're definitely going to pull in some dollars down the road. Now, and this is the other stack of the other Switch games. Now, let me tell you the power behind what I do is, you know, Pokemon has added another level for me. Um, as far as, like, finance, it really has. Um, it's been a really great step. It, I, I, was, I, I am really glad that I got into it, not just financially, but I'm glad I got into Pokemon for the collectability of the cards because I enjoy the art. But financially, it has really helped out in all the other aspects of what I do on a channel. Um, and, you know, I, I this is not just a one-side channel where we just do Pokemon. All right, guys? I share a lot of my passions for a lot of my other everyday hustles that I do. I've been a hustler since 1995. Hustling jobs, working three jobs, up to three jobs, and then downsized to one job. And then, you know, being married and stuff, having the kids. I am still hustling since 1995. And it's a legal hustle. It's not drug-related hustles. It's everyday hustles of grinding, making it happen, and making dreams come true, and making life changing. And this is what it's all about. And I'm enjoying every step of what I'm doing every step of the way and join is not to brag is not to say hey this is what I'm doing you know this is great it's not for everyone it's not for everyone there's ups and downs and you got to take the good with the bad and I'm willing to take the good with the bad but there's more good than there is bad all right just mistakes to be made there is trial by error and you got to live and learn but don't let the mistakes that you make tear your dream apart and that's what I'm about on the channel is I don't let anything deter me from my dream. I don't let it. And I don't, you know, I advise you guys that, you know, you do the same. You're going to be a, mis there's going to be mistakes. Take them like a grain of salt. Just, you know, fall down, dust yourself off, pick yourself back up, put the puzzle back together again. And you'll just live from, live and learn from the mistakes. Many I made in the past when I started doing my, uh, my hustles. Long before I came to the channel sharing all of this with you guys, because this is what it's all about. It's all about a sharing, I believe, is caring. And I'm sharing everything that I know and even tricks and tips that I know I share on this channel for those guys that are want to try or want to get involved in the kind of hustle that I that I'm that I'm doing. It's not just about Pokemon for me, it's about sharing on this channel my everyday love for the cards for the grinding of hunting in the wild, for all kinds of stuff. You find, you see them, I find all kinds of stuff in the garage sales and stuff, not live shots, like a lot of people in video and live yard sale hunts. I just haven't got to that point of actually doing live trips and showing you guys that, because I don't have a cameraman to be like following me behind to do all that. And it's a lot of work with editing and all of that, and I just haven't even got up to that 
par with that stuff yet. So not that it's not coming, it is coming, but I just haven't got to that level with doing it because I'm single doing it by myself on the grind end because most of the time my wife is at, at work and I'm doing the grind because I'm trying to better my life for the future of what I have planned for what I want to do. You know, you got an eternal plan for everything, everything. And I have a plan for what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I enjoy the hustles. I, I believe in doing the hustle while I'm young rather than or I reap the rewards when I get a little older, when I don't feel like doing the grind like that no more. Like, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it for the rest of my life like like when I am in prime or in your, in your you know, when you get to that, 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 you know, that status where you're at where you can just, you know, you can keep grinding and grinding, but then there's going to be a time where, you know, I may not be able to do it. So I'm preparing for that now rather than try to sell everything off. I don't sell everything off right away. I, I hold on to a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, and most of it goes up in value. Some may bottom out. But I'm willing to take the risk with the good, with the bad, because for the most part, the, for what I'm involved in, other things make up the gaps for anything that makes a loss. So, you know, really it's a win-win situation on that whole aspect. So, um, you know, I just continue to do my grind. And like I said, I'm not about subscriber status like everybody tells you to like, comment, subscribe, share. I tell you that, but it's not about that for me. If that was true, I would have been to monetize my channel to try to get money out of YouTube to get same thing with YouTube. I'm not about that. I'm not about that. I never rushed in to monetize because I'm already good with money-wise. So for that to go there, it goes there. If it doesn't go there, it doesn't. But I'm not in a hurry to monetize because I have something in mind on who I would like to monetize, you know, as sponsored a channel or something like that rather than have YouTube thing going. But I just really haven't decided on monetizing the channel. I really wasn't set in my mind to rush in and monetize. So I didn't monetize in the channel still, unmonetized. And you get the videos from me for what it is, unadvertisements on there. And it's clean cut video. You go right from the video without having ads going on there, interrupting your viewing time. So you get straight up viewing time from me nonstop without a commercial. Um, and you know, I do this from the heart because I enjoy sharing my experiences, my thrills of the hunts, um, chasing down stuff, um, and uh, the finds, and just overall passion for what I do. I have a love for what I do. I've been doing it since 1995. I haven't lost it, but yet I don't let anybody take it away from me because I enjoy doing it that much that I don't, I'm not I'm going to let me, somebody tear that away from me. That, that'll just probably kill me if, if someone tears that piece away that I lose my passion for doing something. So um, I just take everything with a grain of salt. I walk the walk, talk the talk, and I do what I got to do. And, uh, you know, just living a dream. And I'm just having fun doing it. And this, these videos are out for you guys' entertainment. You guys take it for what they're worth. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you don't, oh well. I'm not looking at that avenue of it. But I just going to let you know. Videos are going to go up regardless. And I'm having fun. And that's I'm, I'm having fun. And that's I'm not going to let anybody take that part of it away from me. I'm going to continue to do what I do. And, you know, take the good with the good, the bad with the bad. I'm just going to continue to provide the videos regardless. All right? But um, that's, I believe, that is it. Um, as far as pickups, I mean, uh, you know, uh, and what goes on. Um, and I'm still here, still doing the grind. And uh, enjoying it, guys. Enjoying it. But I do got openings here. I got some packs. Um, got some scissors somewhere. Um, so I do want to open these packs. And I'm going to set that the music. So let me get the video for the music so it'll be on it. And I don't lose it. It'll be all set. Because it did go off before. But let me just set it back to where it is. And uh, we'll get into these packs. So, yeah. I am like being very, very careful on this Pokemon product. Really, 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 you know, um, I was watching um, Cardinal Gaming, really cool guy over there. 
Um, you know, it's uh, he did a he did a video talking about we're in a test. Like Pokemon's running a test with all this product. Um, some of this stuff you can really take to heart that that is what's going on. That we're in a test because you know, um, there's a lot of product, guys. I mean. At, El at, at Kirkwood's today, uh, you know, and it was, uh, I, I just couldn't believe the amount of battle styles that I seen today, that I seen in the stores that I was at, GameStops, Barnes and Nobles, the LGS stores, it was just crazy amount of battle styles, man, um, it just, you know, it, it just brings that, 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 that little scare back to what happened with like Roaring Skies and stuff like that where they printed, 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 printed and they like really printed these cards packed to the ground and then you had Alpha Investments with all these cards in the basement. Um, it, it just brings me to that point right there that I, I, I'm, ver I'm being very, very selective right now. Very selective on stuff that I'm investing in for long term Long term is good with anything like new, but I'm being very selective on what packs that I like really am gonna hold for the long term and even future product that I'm gonna like buy to invest in for the long term because it's uh, scary with battle styles, the amount of this product that I've seen. And um, we can see the booster packs, maybe a battle styles booster boxes go down on price if nobody's buying it because Chilling Rain is about to drop in another month or so, right? And, whew, Chilling Rain puts a chill up my spine as well because of what I see with battle styles. So, guys, I don't know. It's, it, it's uh, with the amount of product that I see out there and the buyers not buying it like they were with the, with the pandemic, and now that... The, the world is opening up back to everybody's getting out of the house and everybody's going back to their normal everyday things that they used to do be prior to the pandemic because you're going massless now and restaurants opening up. Um, Pokemon is catching up with product it looks like and pumping it out, but there's no buyers. Knock, knock. And it's very, very scary, guys. Very scary. Be very careful on what you buy and how much you buy trying to buy for long term. Um, long term, 10 years, guys, with this stuff. Um, battle styles, ton of it out there. Be careful. Be careful. Chilling rain right around the corner. Be careful. Be careful. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that because uh, there's a lot of product. And i, I just never seen this much product since... The pandemic, you know, prior to the pandemic was when I saw a lot of product on the shelves. But to the extent of booster boxes like that, and then Cardinal Gaming got over 200. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, big numbers, man. Big numbers are coming. And then we're getting a big release of Shiny Fate ETBs. Very scary, guys. Very scary. All right, so I got two packs of Battle Styles. I'm going to try to see what you guys drop down in here. <laughs> ben says you should invest. That's what I got, Ben. I'm not in a rush to sell those. Those are sitting back, and I'll tell you why I'm sitting on them. But we're going to open up these. i got Team Up. I'm going to be snipping these from the top. you got some Team Up booster packs. I haven't seen any dollar packs come in at either Family Dollar Oh, I haven't seen any at Family Dollars or Dollar Tree in a while. Otherwise, you would have saw them on Instagram. But let's go ahead and do this thing here. Got the non-advertisement. We got the car card to the front. All right, let's see what we got. Energy. That is a metal type. We got a Nolan Grimer. And we got a reverse Nanu Nanu. Mark and Mindy, guys. Nanu Nanu. All right, reverse hollow. I'm just going to stack it up right there. Got about 10 packs, I think, or so. Team up. All right, let's go. Let's get it. 
Ain't nothing to it, like Earl's used to say. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get into it. All right, let's go. Advertisement. All right. Kabuto. Ferro Seed. And we got a Reverse Hollow Amante. Reverse Hollow. Let's just put the reverses to the side. Put all the other bulk up there. Boom. Let's get into another pack. I got some code cards here too, guys. I'll randomly throw out. Let's get it. And we might unbox these uh, Urshi full. I don't know. Might just stack them up in the cabinet. I'm debating. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Fire. Could be Charizard in there. Joltik. And we got a Reverse Hollow Larvitar. All right. Awesome card. Put that right there. Let's get another one. All right. Here we go. Team up booster packs, guys. Let's get it. Advertisement card. Woo! All right. Tarot Cat. Tarot Cat, rather. Vullaby. And we got a Sabrina Suggestion Reverse. Reverse Holographic. All right. Let's go. All right, here we go. Spiritomb, Voltorb, and we got, oh, a Wondrous Labyrinth Prism Star. Card I can use for the repack. So, yeah, all the reverses. Use for the repack, custom packs. All right, another team up. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, boom. Advertiser card, boom, over there. Persian. Volpix. And we got a Brock's Grit Reverse Holographic. Here's the first code card, boom. All right, here we go. About three more. Three or four more packs of team up left. All right. Boom, advertisement. Here we go. Fire energy, energy. Here we go. Charmander. And we got a return label, reverse. Nice card. Centering ain't all that great, but reverse holographic. All right. Team up. Still cracking open some team up. All right. If you guys don't know, Hidden Fates is due to uh, be uh, placed on the shelf in September or August sometime this year. We're going to see what happens, guys. That Judge Whistle, Larvitar, and we got a re reverse holographic. Real Breaking Nate's favorite card, Psyched Up. All right, so about two more packs of Team Up left. So I hope you guys are really digging deep, watching some YouTube videos, see where you're going to be putting your money at, and what sets that you're going to be investing in, or what packs you're going to be buying to open. Um, Fighting Energy, Charmander, and we got a Moultrie's Reverse Holographic. So, you know, got the uh, Eevee Heroes coming out. Chilling Rain right around the corner. Got the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Product is coming. Just, you know, like I said, scary situation right now with the amount of what I see. All right, here we go, guys. Fire type energy. We got a wee -o. And oh, 
Ooh, dudes, we just got a, a, hype, a hyper rare, rainbow rare, Latios and Latias, for a full art rainbow rare. Awesome card right there. Pulled right out of a Dollar Tree pack. Crazy, GX, banger. There we go. And I don't have my sleeve, so guys, I would say sleeve it up, and we are gonna say it just so Angelo can laugh. His little daughter gets a laugh at it. Sleeve it up. Woo! There we go. Sleeved up. All right. So let's go over recap what we got. And let me see the centering. The centering is not bad on that, but I definitely got it. That's a card for the binder. All right, guys. We got Moltres. Reverse. Reverse holographic. Psyduck. Is that Psyduck right there? Psyduck. Yep. Return label reverse, Brock's Grit reverse, Wondrous Labyrinth Prism Star, we have Sabrina's Suggestion reverse, Larvitar reverse, Omonte reverse, oh, Nanu Nanu reverse, and then we got that Latios and Latias Rainbow Rare Hyper rare, full art card, awesome card, awesome! All right, here we go. All right, so that's nice, awesome cards out of Team Up. And I got uh, I got some uh, mini packs here that I'm gonna be using for the repacks, probably for the small, for the tier ones, use these dollar packs. I haven't even started putting them any, any together yet. But uh, got some more mini packs for the uh, probably most likely tier one. Um, got some battle styles, guys. Not really big on this set, but I got these packs a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to open up some battle styles. I can always use the booster packs um, right now. Yeah, still stocking them up. We're going to open up some battle styles. So I got two packs of battle styles. I don't know what we're going to pull out of here, but we'll see. Give you guys code card. Boom! There's your first battle styles code card. Throw it over there. One, two, three, four. Alright. Let's go. Dark energy. Energy! Followed by uh, Tower of Waters Rapid Strike. Karana's or Kor Corona? Karina? Focus Rapid Strike. Per Ugly. Blip Bug. Uh, Shinx, Rapid Strike, Ponyard, Mankey, Single Strike, Sizlopede, our reverse is an Embor, Single Strike, Reverse, and our rare, guys, is a Black Star, Grandpa, the Grandpa, Reverse, uh, Black Star Rare, the Reverse was the uh, Embor, all right. Let's get a little, little bit of last pack magic here. Spring a little bit of magic dust like Earl's Pokestop does. See if we can get a white card Cody on this last pack. Maybe I saved the best one for last and we'll get a white card Cody. Well, look at that. Ask and you shall receive a little bit of that magic dust, Earl. Put a little bit of that magic in his hat just like Frosty did to come alive and we got a white card Cody. Boom, there we go. Ain't nothing to it but do it. One, two, three, four. There we go. Come alive. Let's go. Water energy. Water energy. Energy. There we go. Honkro. Bruxus. Brickler, Brickler common car. Carnivine. Rapid strike. We got a spoink. Bronzor. T-Peg Single Strike, Parasu, we got a Minfo, Minfo, all right, and our reverse, guys, is a Salazzle Dazzle, reverse holographic, and our rare, guys, is none other than, oh, dudes, we pulled gold, gold card, experience share, look at that, guys. Last pack magic with a little bit of that magic dust, Earl. Holy cow. Nice. Gold card for the binder. 
Experience share from uh, Rapid. I mean, uh, from uh, what do you call this? Battle Styles. So there we go, guys. My first gold card from Battle Styles. And yes, that is going to the binder. We're going to sleeve it up. Sleeve it up. Whoop. And I don't have my sleeve, so we're just going to imagine that went into a sleeve. There we go from Battle Styles. All right. All right, so there we go with that. Um, yeah, guys. So that is it in a nutshell, man. We got a whole of the century right there in 3DS games. Crazy amount of games. Um, one thing I want to say about this and a lot of the stuff like the game end, um, I do use that stuff in in uh, games and stuff that we play. And most likely you're are, are you going to see games in the uh, coin pusher for the coin pusher guys that you can win in the play it trade game. So um, yeah, so probably going to be using some of these to port over there for the coin pusher. So any of you guys got a 3DS system? You don't have those games? Well, you got to be in it to win it. So you got to be on this channel. You got to be subscribed up to get in it. Yeah. And, uh, well, you buy your way in for chances to win stuff like that with the coin pusher. And in my buy-ins, when I do my breaks, it gives you the opportunity with raffle ticket that goes into an entry where you get your name pulled to go into the coin pusher. So that's how you get in it for the coin pusher. Like I said, you got to be subscribed up over here. And then when we do the coin pusher, you buy into the breaks for the booster packs, the booster boxes, a uh, booster box breaks, the the Japanese, Korean booster packs, the um, custom packs that I'm making on the three tier levels of three tier customs. Um, yeah. Um, when you get in onto those breaks, you earn entry in on every break that stays in. It's an entry that doesn't go away. You stay in the entry. You don't get thrown out and put into another giveaway. It stays in. It's, it's eternal, guys. It's an eternal entry. So once you bought in, you're, life, you're grandfathered in to uh, play the, uh, the coin pusher. At any given time, you don't know if it's when you're going to get your name pulled because your entries, the more you're buying into the breaks, the more entries you earn because you earn entries in from buying into the breaks on my breaks, guys. So I am taking a lot of bits and pieces from other YouTube channels that I watch that do breaks to incorporate games and how I'm going to be doing a coin pusher, guys. So more stuff with the coin pusher and how it's going to all go in tow. But when I do eventually come back with the new studio, coin pusher, the cameras, it's going to be off the chain. And uh, yeah, and you guys are going to be surprised on how the studio looks when I get done. It's going to be crazy. So um, I can't wait, but nor am I in a rush because I, I got tons of work to still do. I, I got my hands in a lot of different things and it takes a lot of my time away. Daily, I'm busy dealing with Facebook, then have to go to work, then come home, and I still got to try to devote some time to even play some games, because I like to play video games at night without being all worn out and tied out. So I leave some time, usually late nights, where I play games, and I'm on it till sometimes 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm on it, and then I go to sleep for four hours, and I wake up only to go to work. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I try to do my Facebook dealings only on the Sundays and Mondays without trying to meet during the week, but I try to put together times to meet, you know, for trades and stuff during the week to set up a range around when I'm off so it doesn't take away a lot of my time, but I am willing to meet during the week locally. Um, just a heads up for break sales, guys. Um... International pricing for breaks is just really crazy. Fear, if you go check out Fear M Game, Fear MP Gaming, you know they are. He he knows already. The prices for shipping out international is crazy, and even if we charge a one-time fee, if I do international, you have to pay the international fee of the one-time fee break for the two breaks, which you know start Canada for you know if you bought into one break. 
and say you bought a five dollar tier break or, or a three dollar booster pack or whatever you just bought one and i shipped it out that's fourteen dollars for a first class just to go to canada fourteen dollars to ship one booster pack sealed inside or one hit inside a, a bubble bubble mailer padded and everything to go first class is starting at fourteen dollars and twenty five cents just to go to canada just to go to canada to ship one of these games to canada is fourteen ninety uh, fourteen twenty five guys so just imagine what your international cost so it may not even be worth it for me to do international breaks to sell to international i'm just up in the air right now with that um i, I will keep you guys definitely on the uh the bell ringer for that if I decide to go all in with with with, with uh, international as well but I'm not trying to lose money out on it with paying astronomical shipping um, yeah international you may be right in for a one-time shipping for both breaks um, at 1425 or whatever it is 2195 2495 for that one time it's very expensive ship international and uh, you know I just you know just very very expensive, guys. Very expensive. It'll be very expensive for you guys that international buy something from U.S. to get shipped international. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just very expensive. All right. So I do not know if I want to get involved with it. U.S. works so easy to to track and ship and package and upload tracking numbers and find a package and all this stuff. International, it could be just a nightmare and cause a, a just a disaster for me. Because I dealt with it on eBay with trying to get people's products out. And then they say the package never came or whatever. Trying to get a track. Then you get return hits off PayPal. It's just, it was a nightmare. That's why I stopped doing eBay uh, International. Because it's just a nightmare trying to figure out where the package is. There's no way to find somebody's package international. So if it gets lost, I, I can't find it. You know, I don't know when it shows up in customs. And then when you put in a claim against it, uh, you know, you file a charge back on me. And then your package comes. Um... I never get the I never get the money back because you already got your money and you got my product. That's I mean I got ripped off myself on international where guys got their stuff, but they put a charge back in against me on eBay, got their money back, and they got my product. So it's a total disaster for a seller on eBay with that, which I just dealt with when I sold to eat for international. I just do not want to put myself in that can again. And that's exactly why I just don't want to really do international. All right, just so you guys know, I may not be doing international breaks for you guys to buy international. It's not saying you can't come to the channel and watch, but it's just a nightmare. All right, Earl's Pokey Stop. What is going on, my dudes? Took a little bit of that magic dust, Earl. Sprinkle it on there. Pulled that gold experience card, experience share, right there. Good God, that. LED, there we go, that LED light, there we go, crazy pull right there, last pack magic with the sprinkle of magic dust, and uh, yeah, I just see a overabundance of product, Earl, of just battle styles, holy cow, Barnes and Nobles, GameStops, um, Walmart, Walmarts, oh god, Whew. LGS stores, it is loaded, guys, they are loaded down. With battle styles, it's it, like I said, it's a scary situation with that. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very scary with that stuff, guys. So, all right, I don't want to hold you guys up, but if you guys see anything on the video that was shown um, that you're interested, like I said, I have those. Uh, I have these uh, tune packs. Uh, Toon Chaos Packs First Edition. I'm up to trade for Pokemon product or full arts or video game stuff. Just let me know what you got and I can see if that's something I can use. Um, if you're into any Hidden Fates, just remember that Hidden Fates is very limited. There's no GX. All my GX hits are gone. Out of this binder, they're sold already with a big deal that I did today. And all I have is a lot of baby shinies left. All right. A couple of full arts of uh, Giovanni's. And then I have cards that I, that I have left that I'm keeping right there. 
Um, it's just that I'm in a position with a lot of seal that I don't mind selling off the full art stuff. The baby shinies I may save for repacks so you'll get hidden fates. Uh, you could get a chance to get hidden fates, baby shinies in my repacks. So I have been considering doing those in my repacks or putting some in the repacks. So there's some, you know, a lot of cards from my full arts and stuff I'm utilizing into my repack uh, pre pre premium collection packs that I'm uh, building, booster pack um, that you'll be able to buy on the lives for the uh, booster pack breaks, uh, Pope Bar TCG breaks on Facebook. Um, Along with the video game stuff as well. I mean, if you guys have something in mind you're looking for, uh, I could check into the vintage closet to see if I got anything. That would, I would have to go down to the storage unit to dig stuff out, but I do have a lot of game stuff right here because I'm sorting stuff out and organizing a little better than what it was. I'm trying to put a system in tow for the new storage unit that I'm going to be putting this stuff in. So that's the main reason why they're still here. Is because I'm still sorting through the storage unit, bringing stuff and sorting through and putting them into the bins. And I'm still buying bins and sorting out stuff in the storage unit before I put them in the new storage unit. So it's, it's a lot of work that I'm going through. And on top of that, trying to do the studio and get everything set over there. But I, like I said, I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time, guys. So when I'm back over there, I'm back over there. At least I got a place where I can put video right now. Because we're not trying to do two renovations at one time. I'm doing one room and then go and I'm working, going to be working in this one. And this is most likely going to be where um, it's going to be like part of the eBay setup in here. With a table for packaging orders and stuff and getting other stuff ready for shipping. But yeah. But yeah, I'm enjoying all the hustling and bustling of this uh, retail arbitrage thing that I'm in. All right, um, other than that, you know, um, like I said, um, the Pokemon guys, looks like, it looks like Pokemon is getting a lot of product out. Um, I'd be leery, really leery, but wise on what I'm buying and what I'm holding on to. All right doesn't matter what you open as long as you don't get caught with your pants down with a lot of product on the end that ain't going to be worth it unless you go for the long term. Just remember that this new stuff is being printed at least double of what anything else that we ever seen printed. It's at least doubled. At least doubled and then printed in a reprint. All right, so there's much more of this new stuff that we're getting new sets, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and anything else, EV Heroes. More of this product is being printed than any previous set we got. Any previous set we got. So just knowing that, just be very careful on what sets you are going to hold down or try to flip. Just be very careful. It's not a Because you can just open up anything, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's what you're going to hold long term, 10 years, if you're trying to invest in Pokemon, this new stuff, you're going to have to hold at least that. You know, give or take Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates is like what we're in 2021, and um, Hidden Fates was already like $400 in ETB or something like that. So it was already crazy in a 2021 range, 2019 era when it was hard to get. And, started going up and then when it dispersed and stopped and then reprinted well price started just wavering a little bit but uh kit does have the opportunity to just take off again if they uh if they shelf it if they shelf it this time in september or august when the rotation comes for some xy or sun and moon sets that are going to go out of rotation then Hidden Fates does ride out into the sunset. Well, just remember, you know, Pokemon's cash cow gone. Another cash cow is right around the corner. Could be that 25th anniversary. That could be the next cash cow printed for the next three years. All right. Like evolutions, you know, five years into evolution. So, all right. Without keeping you guys any further, enough of me rambling on. It's 11.07. Um, 
Figured I'll let you guys go. Um, sorry I got one video out today. Like I said, I was very busy yesterday. My time was tied up. And uh, I was involved. So, uh, you know, I got things I got to take care of, things I'm doing. And, uh, you know, had some time here, even though it's a late video. Um, got this video out for you guys. Lost the internet due to a cat, a little cat. Aim, got a hold of the power strip and hit the power cord thing over there and knocked my line out while I was uh, trying to spew out to you guys. But, um, yeah, it's all said and done, guys. All done. And uh, thank you for watching. All right. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. I post videos on Sundays and Mondays for now. That's how it's been going. I'll just try to continue with that moving forward until we get everything situated in the next room and I'm ready to come back with the studio set with everything else ready to go. Um, without that, without further ado, um, do make sure that at least you're following me on Instagram um, to see what I'm posting because I do post the pickups on uh, what I find in Walmarts. I shoot you photos live of, you know, a live shot of what I see at the self-checkouts or at the service desk are in you know the toy aisle of Walmart all right and uh, you know uh, product is coming guys it looks like that Pokemon is uh, doing some uh, stepping up of their game so product could be available and uh, you know more of it more of it more of it and uh, just be wise on what you buy for the long-term investing and, uh, you know, have fun opening, all right, because it looks like times are going to be a little bit better and going to get better for us in, in regards to finding product because it looks like it's coming. All right, so without further ado, we'll let you go. Uh, I'm the Gamesman, a.k.a. your host, Mike Dabbs, host of Pokemon TCG. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. So uh, what are we going to do? Peace. Love and a high five, and I'll see all of who I'll see all of y'all in my what in the next video, guys. See you on the next one, and I'm out of here. Woo!